Deportivo La Coruña rebuilding giant. In today's episode, we're going to try and win against Real Madrid. We've also then, tomorrow's episode, got a cup final against Real Madrid. And then it's all what we're going to do from there. If you haven't seen already, there are going to be spoilers about the Reading FC episode that come out later today in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We will not be doing Reading FC anymore as we have now officially won the Premier League and the Champions League in the same episode. So, starting Monday, it will be Deportivo La Coruña for seven days a week until we finish this series. Once this series is done, I will then look to see what to do next. But we will go from there. But without further ado, let's get into this episode and let's have a look at the Champions League quarterfinals against Real Madrid. So, since the last time you saw me and since the last time I've seen you, we've played two games. We played uh, Gir Girona, beat them 2-1, and then we beat Deportivo Alvarez 3-0. Very comfortable victory. Um, Ever Bergson got two and Rafael got one. So now we're going to do Real Madrid double episode, uh, and then we will bat for Real Madrid, a Madrid double episode. Uh, we will skip um, Real Betis. But then what we will do for the rest of the week is if we f lose out on that and lose out on the cup final, it is then just going to be playing and just deciding what's going to happen next for the rest of the week. So the next two episodes are going to be key for... Why are you on the thing? Oh, fuck off. Uh, are going to be key for us of what to do next, where to go, what the aim is for us uh, moving on. Um... We've got to find a way of defeating the El Clasico duo of Real Madrid and Barcelona. But it is up to us now to try and find a way of doing so. Um, we haven't got the money of both of them. But we've got to find tactic-wise what to do next. But Real Madrid here now. We've also got Barcelona and PSG playing in the other leg as well. But Andre is, is going to be taking a free kick. Rafael Silia! 1-0, protests are happening, VAR's checking, and VAR has fucking disallowed it. I was happy then. Oh. Alright. Goal kick here for Real Madrid. Camavinga bringing it out. Vinicius Jr. What are they going to do here? Jude Bellingham. Poor tackle. Let's us him. Another poor tackle. Ossie men's in. Great save by the keeper. Victor Ossiman skipped past two players there. Valverde. Ever Ferguson does well to come back and to clear it. But Real Madrid have got the ball back again. I'm, I'm worried. Let's go cautious. Let's try and hit him on the counter. Ever Ferguson clears. Try and do some counter-attacking football. If we can survive at home, I think we should be okay. A survive away, I think we should be okay at home. But I do think the next leg, if I'm right from remembering, is if we win this, we play Ram, uh, Barcelona or PSG. So, see how we get on there. Real Madrid having all of the ball. Camavinga finds Vinicius Jr. Wide. It has all been Barcelona, uh, Real Madrid so far. Not overly disappointed. We're not shooting, but... I'm fine with us just keeping it a little bit even. I do want to try something. Because we're away from home, I don't know if this is going to work. Shoot on sight. It might go in. Andretti's got a corner kick. A goal! Morotto from the corner kick. First shot of the game. And Bredi swings it to the near post. And Morotto leaps up above the defenders to get the goal. Do not change. Oh, great save by the keeper. 
Real Madrid doing Real Madrid things. I've just moved the camera. That's better. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Can't go wrong with that. This has been smash and grab so far. And am I annoyed at that? No. Do I want us to do better? Yeah. Will I take this? Absolutely. Barcelona are beating Paris Saint-Germain 1-0. Pedri has got the goal. 60th minute. I think it might be time for some subs. I'm going to wait a sec. To work out what... Oh, Dreddy says, well, he could be off. Good thing I waited. And it's a red card. Apparently we elbowed him. Spring pong off the ball. Oh, Real Madrid got a red card. Okay. I thought I got a red card then, and I was waiting for the substitution that I would have to have made happen. Uh, but unfortunately, or fortunately, it didn't come. Uh... Andreas is getting very tired. Bring Furman on. That's it. This might help us now to get through. Because Springpong will not be there for the second leg. And PSG are also down to 10 men. I'm happy to see this game out 1 0, to be fair. But I don't think that's going to happen. Mitchell. And we do dumb shit like that. Bellingham was in the box. Nowhere. He wasn't even really going to get the ball, I don't think. Awarded 10 men Real Madrid could be tying up this. And this will be a massive. That'll be more than anything they need. Fuck. Can we? I know this. I know that this is uh, risky, but they're down to ten men. I think the risk might not have paid. Oh, okay. Castilio down the line. Familiar Castilio finds Bamba. Raphael cannot beat the player. Mitchell to Kamini over the top to Vinicius Junior. And ten men Real Madrid have come back from behind, and it was a mistake from my end. No, they haven't. You've been disallowed. Great card. Come on. Emilio Castillo. Bamba Luchil with the big boys. Gets the goal. 91st minute. Do we deserve that? Who knows? Cilia does well to give it back to Familia Castillo. And there's Bamba. Smashes it into the corner. 2-1. Are we going to... No. Don't think about it. Right. What a win. Something I think we can... Des we deserve that. Ish. Right, let's get to the second leg, shall we? I'm going to play Real Betis in between, and then we'll do that. Right, here we go. Second leg of the Champions League quarterfinals against Real Madrid. We are 1-0 up. We just beat Real Betis 3-0. Uh, so we're going to go into this match. Uh, bit of confidence here. Got a balance. They were down to 10 men. We got the winner by Bomba. So let's hope. We could do better here. Look at that cross as well. Very cool. Right. Let's keep this going. Real Madrid are going to be playing. Obviously, they're 4 3 3. 
that they demolish the league with. Barcelona, I think, have the advantage against PSG as well. See if they can, if they're able to do that. Well, we're having all the possession at home. Oh, sorry. Ah, there's the goal! 1-0! I went quiet to work out what the fuck was happening. 1-0 against Real Madrid. Can we stop these bastards from winning everything? And we're 1-0 up. Inside the first nine minutes of the second leg. Come on. Can I do back-to-back -back Champions League? I ain't winning the league. Back-to-back -back Champions League. Oh. Victor Ozzyman trying to take the keeper by surprise. La Carunia. They were Champions League specialists at one point. And it all fell apart. Oh, Raphael, beautiful Fermin. Down the line to Voss. Back again, Bamba's there, but goes over the top. Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy as Larry. The guy I can't pronounce has gone off injured. Frankie de Jong has missed a penalty there for Barcelona. Chill with the big boys. You know, run, get to get you, know, run, cut, cut, cut. Great interception there by the left back. Voss. Bam, bam. Oh. BT Sport will be all over this. Let them into our house. TNT Sport. Rio, no, it would be Steve McManaman, wouldn't it? Doing commentary. Here, I love Real Madrid. My time there was great. Fermin. Bam, bam, I want to chill with the big boys. He gets the goals and make it 2 0 in this leg. 4 1 overall. Are we looking at another Champions League? Are we looking at another Champions League? Uh, absolutely. <coughs> right. Okay. Our gone. Hopefully this gives us more confidence now for the uh, Copa del Rey final. Back Voss. Fermin gets tackled there. Ardagula tries to get it out. Voss. Bamba finds Rafael. Skips one. Oh, what a singularity goal. Took it on. Skip past two or three players. Morotto heads it down to Voss. Voss gives it to Bamba. Bamba's there. Touch takes it past two players. Skips inside. Cross the keeper. What a goal. Right. Rest players now for the uh, Copa del Rey final. Oh, God. You watch me fuck myself over now. Just by making these substitutions. I've made them. I've made the executive decision to rest some of our key players before we go and play them in the Copa del Rey final. Nice little rehearsal here that we know if we're at home, we can beat them. But I don't think the final will be at our ground. 34,899 fans here today. Fourth minute. Real Madrid going to try and get back into this. Henning does really well to have Camavinga's in, and there's the goal for Real Madrid. Ninth goal of the season. Might just be a consolation prize there for him. Five two overall. 
three, one. Take that. Oh, no. Make a change. <clears throat> you know that's going to roll up their fans and their team. I've just swapped goalkeepers. It is what it is. Right, German. Herman the German has got the goal. We have picked up this victory against Real Madrid in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, which means the next episode will be the semi... Will be, no, we'll do the Copa del Rey final and Atletico Madrid. But after that, will be the Champions League semi-finals against the Real, um, uh, against Barcelona. So it's going to be interesting how we get on and what we would do. Dilia's going to miss it. But let's have a look at the schedule. So next episode will be the Copa del Rey. Uh, and it will be Atletico Madrid. And then it will be Barcelona double. Uh, because we're not even going to be concentrating on the league. Because we have no chance in hell. Unless Barcelona go lose their game. All of the rest of their games. And Bar uh, Real Madrid have... Three, two games in hand. So, they're going to go joint top by the looks of things. So, it, all about us now is concentrating on the Champions League. We've got Barcelona coming up. Now, tomorrow is the Copa del Rey final. See you guys there.